In this video, I'll be discussing how to configure motion detection on each, indivi each individual camera, how to add a privacy mask, and how to test for motion events. Um, this video is going to be especially useful for anybody who has one or more cameras that seems to be recording, you know, all day instead of just when motion should be detecting. Um, a lot of times this can occur if you have some type of background action going on so if your camera is mounted outdoors then uh, this form of background action can be either blowing leaves, shadows, uh, birds flying, things like that. If mounted indoors then it could be a blinking light somewhere, it could be uh, a TV screen on somewhere or if you have fluorescent lighting uh, it could just be a slight change in the light so what you can do is a number of things um, first when you are on your main live view screen um, you select the camera where you want to make the adjustment in this particular case we've selected this camera if you want to select a different camera you just left click on your mouse um, and the camera is selected when you see this red uh, box, this red border around the uh, image, the actual camera image. So I'm going to go back to this camera and then you click on menu and then motion detection setup and from here you have a number of options. Um, first let's talk about the sensitivity. If you have issues with light, then your best bet is to lower the sensitivity. Um, when you lower the sensitivity in our DVR software, you actually raise this number. So if you want to lower the sensitivity, then raise this number up to the maximum. If you want to raise the sensitivity, so let's say you're not getting certain events that should be triggered you can take this number and lower it down. Um, motion value basically means if you have let's say this entire screen with the green boxes around um, this entire screen is a hundred percent of your image. If you have somebody walk in through this door um, that person will probably be, be about that big and that would probably be about maybe two or three percent of this entire image so that means if this person is walking through this image it will only trigger recording uh, it'll only trigger motion detection recording if the if the object is larger than what you specify here. So if you say that you want a motion value of 27 percent that means something that's at least around that big would need to uh, drive through this wall so that your camera can start recording and obviously I mean you're just looking for people here there's nothing that's going to be 27 percent the size of this particular uh, camera screen unless there's a big 18 wheeler that drives through this this wall so that being said I'm going to lower this back down to one percent and that will that will give that will give us a, a good overall view of people uh, that are just walking through this this bar this restaurant area and anywhere they walk uh, we can get um, the system to trigger this as a motion detection event. If I don't know if you can see this, but there's a TV on right here. It's uh, actually off right now, but um, later on in the day. TV will be on. There's another TV on right here. So if we didn't want these um, the TV images to trigger motion detection events, then there's a couple things we could do. We can add a privacy mask. 
you click on add mask and then just draw just drag just click for your starting point and drag and unclick and that draws masks for those two areas let's say you don't want your windows here to have any effect on the recording so I'm just gonna click up here and drag and drop click drag or uncheck and unclick let's say you don't want the front door so you click drag and unclick and that creates privacy masks um, so if you don't want to create privacy masks you would just click on delete mask and it'll delete any mask that you created um, another option besides privacy mask as you can see you would just black out those areas if you don't want those areas to be blacked out uh, but you just didn't want those areas to uh, determine uh, a trigger point for motion detection recording you can click on you can actually um, I'm going to take it off of add mask mode by clicking it to uncheck it and I'm going to create motion detection setup points so click on delete and let's say you want your motion detection setup point to be here so click drag unclick you see that a green a green motion detection box has been uh, drawn on the screen now let's say you want the bar area so click drag and unclick and let's say you want the restaurant area where people are sitting and here and here um, let's actually get rid of that last box I'm gonna click on delete and let's say we want one right here so now we have multiple areas for motion detection recording and if you want to see if movement within these areas is going to generate a trigger for motion detection recording you can click on test and now if you have somebody walk in through the door or somebody walk in from the back door or anything else it looks like there's some type of movement on a small LCD here um, that motion detection event will be followed, that object will be followed by a yellow um, almost like a yellow shadow it will highlight any anywhere within these boxes where you have motion detected that meets these parameters um, so for example we have this blinking LCD here as you can see there's no yellow around this area so that means this blinking LCD is not going to trigger, it's not going to produce a motion recorded event um, until somebody, somebody actually walks into this door or maybe somebody comes down from the ceiling or from over here um, no, no more minor events are going to be, no more minor objects are going to be considered a trigger for a motion detection event um, if you have any other questions, feel free to give us a call at 877-DEAL-79 or visit our website at edigitaldeals.net.